head to the gym right now. I'm about to do a chest day. I'm um, still debating whether I want to do close grip or wide grip. We'll see right now when I get on there what I feel like doing. Um, I can't seem to remember which one I did first. I think I did close grip on Monday, if I remember right. But I might try it again today and see how it goes. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, it's not packed right now at the gym. I'll have to show you guys right now. It's not horrible. So as y'all can see, it's not it's not too packed. It's not nothing from the from the basics when I get here at about five. When I get here at five, that shit's already a little bit different. But it's all good, man. I don't mind. About to get some more volume in right now. Hey, yeah, what up, YouTube? Um, so I'm just gonna kind of go over um, what kind of happened during this training, these last two days of training. Um, some crazy shit happened. Um, I'm not too sure what I did, but I ended up. Um, I guess the safest way to say it is, I've been having a lot of elbow flare in my workout. So um, as you can see here, 135, it's not very. So uh, you can't really tell. But as I started increasing on 225, um, here this isn't bad. Actually, when the close grip, the close grip is kind of like the second. In the second part of the video, you'll see um, where it actually does mess up. Um, kind of a little bit here too. Look, there's a little bit of elbow flare. And um, what I've been trying to correct is actually keeping my ass on the bench. I know I stated that previously, but that's something that I've really um, trying to make a big, large effort into fixing. So if you do guys, if you guys do have any comments or any ideas on how to fix it, then you know I'm all ears. Um, here there is no elbow flare in this part in this video right here, in this little clip. Um, yeah, I don't know how it ends up working out, um, but it is something that I do have to fix. I do have to fix my elbow flare on my close grip, on my wide grip. I do need to fix um positioning myself and anchoring myself good enough into the bench so in that way i can have more power see how like i do those little mini jumps that's not normal i shouldn't be doing that my ass shouldn't come off the bench at all to be honest and there's a little bit of elbow flare right there um i've been doing a lot of research on it and i've been trying to like figure out exactly how to fix it um making sure my bar path is clean so in that way when i do compete i don't get red lighted for it so that's my biggest thing now is training smarter, but training for efficiency and for what I am targeting, which is basically a meet. From this point on, I'll let you guys um, see the rest of it. And yeah, and then I'll come back for another part of a commentary on the second half of this part, where um, where we do actually have the a lot of elbow flaring. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next clip. making my way into the parking lot of the gym right now it's actually looking kind of packed today but we'll see I mean usually usually the parking lot isn't a great indicator of what how many people there actually is actually lifting like free weights so it's not too bad um I'll be in there right now shoot some good footage um, I'm gonna try to get a better chest day than yesterday. Yesterday I had the crappiest chest day I could possibly have. No idea why. One thing I knew that it was, it was grip. Grip was definitely becoming an issue. The bar was slipping. Besides that, um, I didn't bring chalk with me. Today I didn't bring chalk with me, but hopefully I'm gonna try close grip. Hopefully salvage a fucking chest workout. This is, I think, my third or fourth chest workout of the week already so far. So, let's get it. So, here um, with the 135, there is no elbow flare, and you guys can kind of see. This is kind of what I want to more so have my form look like when I do hit 225. So, that is a, um, actually a goal that I do want to hit. Hopefully, by March, being able to... Um, being able to hit that or within the next week week and a half i do have to do some tweaks i do have to do a little bit more stretching so then that way 
um i do prevent this um you guys can see here it comes straight up and then right there there's like minimal here there's a lot of elbow flare and that's something that i really don't want to happen um reason being is that i don't want to create an injury for myself elbow wise or shoulder wise so i really don't want to um, put a lot of stress and limit um the amount of force that i can exert with my anterior delts that's something that um i really don't want to hurt myself with um and here it's a little bit better but still um my big that's a that flare comes out way too quick um things ways i can try to fix it is maybe um shortening or i guess lowering the amount of weight i do have on the bar and um from there trying to work with a uh, lower weights to um try to better um work on my elbow flare see and that was actually a good one and um on one of these i did get really upset because of I felt like my position with me was completely off. Like I just didn't feel right and I was getting pissed off because the week prior to this, um, 225 was flying up quick. So that is something that I do want to fix is um, working on how exactly I do um, position myself on the bench and be more consistent with the way I do it so then that way I don't injure myself and I can you know, maximize um, the amount of weight that I can put up on the bar and explode. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Catch you guys in the next video.